of who you are and where you come from. It's my family. You don't have family. You have fallout. We've got a shot here to win it all. You know how rare that is. What do you want for your future? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. It's like a Fonz entrance, isn't it? We should stop back and just give that one a round. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got the trailer up. There's a lot of love there. Lakers, Jersey, whoa. I'm here for it, Joe. I, oh, I'm damn, man. We can feel it. Long. And I loved it. I mean, I'm going to go I'm going to start with you, Adrian, because you're from Queens. So, I mean, I look at this this thing, and I don't know if, if you if you want to talk to Rodney about doing something for the Knicks, but it's not the same story for the Knicks. Would, would you want to see something like this for the Knicks? Hey, man, look, if uh, if the show keeps going, you'll be watching me on the playing with the Knicks, too. <laughs> if the show keeps going. <laughs> you know, in in uh, in about a decade, I'll be you know I'll be r- running New York, playing aggressive yeah. ball. You know, but uh, but you know, at this time, you know, I, I have a lot of love for the Lakers. I, I love I love the team. I love you know I love LA. You know, I, you know I'm I'm a New Yorker, but uh, you know LA shown me a lot of love, and I've I've spent many years there since I was 19, kicking around, struggling as an actor, living in a lot of crappy apartments, and and going to you know some some great Laker games, and um, you know. It's a it's a big honor. It's a big it's a very exciting thing. I know it's a big thing for L.A., uh, you know, this show. And, uh, um, and it's a big thing for me to to portray someone as iconic as Pat Riley and and uh, to to get to know and for us to show a side of him that none of his fans really know unless they they're really dig in the crates. Nobody knows like <laughs> how what a transformation it was not only just physically and stylistically but as a man and 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 all those that real um leadership quality that he owned so well that was something that that he earned and he had to take time to to to, to learn and 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 give back to people so it's cool it's really exciting You've been to Staples Center slash Crypto Arena and seen the statues of Chick Hearn and, and all the players. This in this series, you get to learn a lot more about who who Chick is and who, who Pat is and everybody else. But Solomon, let me come to you because this is a this is a huge breakout role for you. And I and I, and I want to know like I'm curious that you know a lot of times actors have to create backstories or you know this happened before this character was here but you have a Lou Alcindor and a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was it important for you to really get to know who Lou Alcindor was as Lou Alcindor to, to then play him as Kareem absolutely you know the, the research was absolutely one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life and 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 I and I started I was, I've been a Kareem fan since I was a kid Giant Steps, his autobiography is one of the first like big books I read right up there with Malcolm X's autobiography. So having grown up an hour outside of LA, the Lakers were the center of the sports universe for me. And Kareem was the center of that because of his, his just how, how he had impacted society on so many different levels. And so my dad was a huge fan because of just his, his perspectives and just, you know, his, just his penchant to stand up for, for the oppressed. And so um, so I, I've been a lifelong fan. I mean, l- literally, I've, and I, I would argue that any tall basketball player that was playing in the 80s and the 90s was really kind of playing within the matrix of Kareem. I mean, just his grace, his just absolute unstoppable um, um, nature as a basketball player. And then just, again, just how he just showed up in society. But yeah, it, it was an incredibly rewarding story. And Miles Fowler absolutely kills it with his portrayal of Lou Alcindor and just Kareem when he, when he transitioned, when, 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 he, um, when he changed his name. Um, so it was, yeah, it, I, I feel like th- the beauty of this journey was I know that Adam is a huge basketball fan and then Max and Rodney are also, in, uh, um, and, and Jim are just huge Kareem fans as well. So it was, it was fun to collectively really just kind of fanboy out, if you will, over this, 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 this great man. Jason, I've had a couple of chances to talk to you. I think the first might've been Zero Dark Thirty, but 
Yeah. You've had a couple of chances to talk it out. I didn't take you for a ball player, especially since the Aussies. I mean, you got like Ben Simmons representing the Aussies right now. Yeah, y'all need to pick it up. But yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. I mean how I mean I, you played Jerry West the executive, but can you play Jerry West on the basketball court? You got any- <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know what? I, I did have a, I had a couple of flashbacks where I had to put the shorts on, man. I did, no, and, the, and the shorts were shorter back then. You know what I mean? And the woven things. And there was a flashback scene in one of the episodes where, uh, you know, Jerry, just a quick thing with Jerry's one when he wins his first ring. You know, they had, they had Wilt Chamberlain there. It was just, it was so cool. I mean, I was worried about my bony little white legs coming out there with no tan or anything. But, but uh, you know, I loved... The, the, we had a Idan Ravine, a basketball coach, a well-known basketball coach, worked with us. And and anytime you get the opportunity to just work or train with a guy at that level, you know, and hey, somebody else is paying the bill to go there. But he, we worked on his window and on his shot, and you find those things that that just teach you, you know, criticize. But you, you don't walk like that, man. These guys are professional athletes, even in retirement. You know, just think about these things. I loved, I loved all of that. You know, it was. Um, it's funny. I mean, the whole show, even hearing you talk about LA before, LA has been so much for so many people and still is. As an Australian actor, it was fucking, it was Rome. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, if, if what kind of actor that takes himself and his art series is not going to make an effort to get there? You know, it's, it's become everything. And then here you are at this time in the 80s with these, with these figures in this kind of dirty, simple water. I see the pictures behind you. It's not as glamorous and whatever. It's got this you know, it's, it's all being put together still. And, um, you know, and that's what made it a, a place of such opportunity for all, you know, for a guy like Jerry Buss, you know, to come there and, man, let's just, just work this out. You know what I mean? Let's try and work it out. We can sell a basketball team, you know? Um, so uh, I love playing Jerry West. I would love to have played a bit of board more, but I didn't, you know, Truck Rollins was one of my favorite players there. I got to get from each of you top five favorite Lakers. Let's do top three because we're running out of time. Yeah. Top three. Lakers, no, no order. Just give me th- three of your favorite Lakers. Let's start with you, Adrian. Um, I, well, I would say Kareem, uh, Magic, Kobe. You know, I mean, yeah, I, it's hard to pick three, but uh, I know, I know, it's even yeah, hard to pick three. Three. So, Jack, okay. to so, two, so, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's such a great question. And so I'm just putting out three of the many that I love. But okay. I love LeBron James. So I'm absolutely putting him in my top three. Kareem, LeBron, Kobe, Bean, Brian, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you have to go Elgin Baylor up there. You really do. People are forgetting what made the Lakers the Lakers. You can't not go with Jerry West. I mean, he bought them all there, dude. He bought up, you know. And then you probably have to end up with, I mean, yeah, I, oh, I go Kareem. No, I know. I, no, no, I went Kareem before. I'm going to go Magic. I think this whole series underlines what Magic Johnson did for basketball full stop. Like scores, totals, whatever. It was tape delayed, man. It was like a few dudes, whatever. They're out there in the back of a truck trying to get, come on, watch the Lakers. And then along came Johnson. And that's... Right. End of story, hombre. Thank you, guys. That was a good buzzer beat. I appreciate the time. Love the series. <laughs> Can't wait to see more of it. Thank you. Shout out to Nipsey Hustle, brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <fair enough>. yeah. <laughs>